right guys, just a really quick bit from me today. So, my Japanese fire belly newt larvae are getting hungrier and hungrier. So, I had to devise a better system for hatching brine shrimp than using this tub, which I am still using, I might add, because it actually does work. What I've done here is I've just got some 1.5 litre bottles. Uh, I've used a styrofoam box. I traced around a lid at each end here and cut it out. And this one here, I cut another bottle basically in half with a general vivid, traced around the top there, cut it out, and they slide in quite fine. All I've got down here holding it in, I don't know if you can see that, we should be able to. It's just a, a fairly usual um, shelf bracket that you just screw into the wall. Um, the reason I chose to use the styrofoam was because I had it around, it was recycling, that's always good. Um, and all I've done is I've used my handy dandy drill here and I've drilled a hole in the cap. Um, when I've drilled the hole, as you can see here, I don't know what kind of drill you've got, but like that one goes to 4 mil, um, and then there's a 6 mil one too. Use that one for tidying up a bit, but our tubing here in New Zealand, which I suppose is probably the same elsewhere, uh, is 4 millimeters, 4 millimeters uh, inside diameter. So, uh, you know, you think about it like that. You put a hole in the top of the lid like that. You're going to be able to get that through with a snug fit. Sorry. Um, so anyway, I've just uh, chucked it on with, with a cheek valve. The cheek valve stops the uh, any water running back into the aerator. So I can adjust the flow. And so I'll show you with the next one. You just hook it up here. Oh, and the other thing to note is I drilled a hole in the top of each one that allows the air to go through. You can't do it in a sealed container, it doesn't work. So, just turning the air on now for the other one. So that works pretty well. It's out of the way in my little fish room, so that's cool. I like that. Um, now I just need some light. Particles. What am I going to do? I'm going to just attach it here. That's what's good about having a little rack around. If it'll stay there with his little bendy jig. Oh, I might need to get it a bit closer. How might I do that? Maybe if I try it this way. Here we go. So the eggs will have light. We will check that, shall we? Looks pretty good to me. So hopefully soon we'll have an abundance of food for these little fat newt larvae. So that'll be good. So when I want to harvest it, all I have to do is take out the tubes as you saw, put my bucket or whatever I'm collecting it in uh, under the bottom there. For argument's sake, here's my water change bucket. So you just chuck a, a bucket under there, like so. Um, and then run it underneath. One thing I find brilliant, not sponsored obviously, these here are cool. Uh, you know, all your brine shrimp will come out of that. So yeah, you turn off the air and let them settle so all the um, cysts go up to the top. Um, so that's the empty shells. And then uh, turn it off, take this little check valve off and it will go through. But I'll do another video about it when these are ready and um, I'll show you how I collect my brine shrimp from my newts and feed them. So stay tuned for that one.